Welcome and thank you for taking a few minutes to listen to this presentation. This is a part of a series that will explore how cloud computing can help the small business. My name is Jorge Pereira and I am a principal consultant here at Avero. We understand that time is valuable, so we have kept these presentations short and to the point. No more than 10 minutes in length each is the goal. The intended audience is the business owner, so please do not expect much technical depth. This first presentation deals with some of the basic concepts of cloud services, including its definition, types, or categories, and deployment models. Before we begin, a very quick blurb about Avero. A consultant firm based in Bellevue, Washington, that helps the, its clients with the technology transformation projects in the areas of cloud services, migrations to the cloud, desktop optimization, Windows 7 migrations, and the implementation of SharePoint, including development services. We would love to help your organization in, the, in any of these areas. We will be providing contact information at the end of this presentation. Now, let's move on to the topic at hand, cloud computing. First, its definition. This is a much talked about topic, but generally speaking, cloud computing refers to hosted services delivered over the internet that can grow and sh shrink dynamically based on demand, where you pay only for the actual usage of these services. Cloud computing consumers do not have to worry about hardware, infrastructure, architectures, scalability, or associated software management software. It is magically taken care of all behind the scenes. The term today is much of a buzzword, which is used for everything that is not on site and actively managed by you or your IT staff. There are three major areas in which cloud-based services are categorized into. First, infrastructure as a service, which offers an alternative to companies purchasing servers, hardware, software, data center space, or e network equipment, where clients, instead of buying those services or those resources, fully outsource the procurement and management of them to third parties. There are several subcategories within this uh, area. One is hardware as a service, software as a service, desktop as a service, and communication as a service. These last two are coming to age quickly and have lots of t attention in the marketplace. You might have heard of desktop as a service referred to as VDI or virtual desktop initiatives and CAAS or communication as a service as virtual PBXs or hosted unified communications. Providers of platform as a service offer all facilities required to support the complete cycle of construction and delivery of web-based applications fully available through the internet without the need of downloading software or special installations by developers. They are called application platform frameworks. Software as a service is the most well-known of all cloud services as it has the most visibility to the end users. It refers to those services where, a, where an application is offered and delivered from the internet directly for consumers to use. There are many providers of cloud computing services and every day more and more coming to the market with many new and innovative services. We have listed a few examples to give you an idea of the provider's landscape per category. It is important to note that some vendors are beginning to offer services in more than one space, namely Google, Microsoft, Salesforce.com, just to mention a few. Four deployment models are associated with cloud services. Private cloud are operating solely within the enterprise or business. They can be owned, leased, on-site or off-site, but as long as they're managed and maintained only for that enterprise, that is what it calls a private cloud. Community cloud 
is are those environments which are shared amongst a particular community. It could be a healthcare organization, a group of business uh, like businesses. Uh, public clouds are available to the general public, and they are the ones that are have the mega scales, hundreds of thousands of servers in one place, servers and consumers. Hybrid clouds, on the other hand, are the composition of two or more of the above mentioned models. It is important to keep in mind that you may use multiple types of models within your organization, depending on the needs and the applications that you will use that for. Although Google, Amazon, and Salesforce.com are probably the best known for offering cloud-based services, I would be remiss if I don't point out that Microsoft has been in this space for a very long time as well starting over 15 years ago with Microsoft Live and MSN, with which both have hundreds of millions of users. Windows Update has been around for over a decade, serving software upgrades to, again, millions of users over the Internet. The newest set of services from them is include Microsoft Online Services and Office Live, which have been received with great success. Cloud computing has proven to be a game changer for many companies that have taken advantage of its capabilities. Not only it significantly reduces the cost, but more importantly, it provides a much more agile alternative to installing, running, and maintaining servers and software in-house. Often, the migration path into the cloud feels like an overwhelming leap of faith for those who have traditionally operated computing environments in their own premises, and that is where we believe we can help. We are passionate about cloud computing, and we are, have lots of experience in this space. We can help you with strategy and planning, actual migration services, or cloud application development. Our contact information is displayed in this screen. Listen to the follow-up presentations on this topic where we will be covering some of the key enabling cloud services and products which are available out there for small businesses. We thank you for listening to this presentation and hope you enjoy it. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.